I must say it's such a great pleasure to be back in Macedonia uh, in an environment where people are able to speak freely without uh, fear, uh, without harassment, without physical intimidation uh, and uh, also um, without all the uh, terrible pressures that the previous government were uh, using uh, to uh, control, to uh, uh, forbid uh, people, civil society organizations, media, uh, to work uh, independently and, and to uh, operate as one would expect in a normal democratic society. Uh, and uh, where we saw in the last years all the checks and balances that we uh, accept uh, in a democratic society were not existing. Now we have a, such a, a refreshing uh, atmosphere because uh, the new government lost no time in replacing the fear with openness, uh, in replacing the, the secrecy of the previous government with transparency, um, establishing a, a dialogue with civil society, with the media, uh, and doing everything possible to catch up on lost time in terms of the reforms for EU accession. All the reforms that were already identified uh, in the previous years, but which the previous government did not uh, implement uh, at all. So, um, but of course, it's a huge challenge for the new government, uh, and it will take time. Uh, but people are understandably impatient, particularly as regards the uh, issues of the uh, alleged criminal activities, abuse of power that took place and that were evidenced notably in the wiretapped conversations. So my uh, message that I had uh, two years ago when we spoke previously is the same, that those who uh, were uh, responsible, who were involved in all of these uh, activities, who are under uh, investigation uh, by the special prosecutor must absolutely fa face the full force of the law because the law must be shown to be operating equally uh, those in power, uh, those who were in power, must uh, be accountable uh, for what they have done. Uh, and the quicker that can be done, the better uh, the, uh, the peace can be restored, because uh, understandably uh, people want to see justice happening. And that was, uh, after all, the slogan of the colorful rep revolution, no justice, no peace. So I think that's the, the probably one of the biggest challenges facing this government to make sure that the judiciary functions as it should as an independent judiciary and that those investigations those cases are brought to a, a conclusion it's now if i'm not mistaken over three years since the first revelations and yet if i understand correctly no one is in jail uh, for those uh, crimes that were um, revealed in the in those wiretap conversations, that's a long time uh, for people to wait for justice to happen. So I, I do hope that the judiciary will understand the necessity to act rapidly on these matters. Well. Certainly uh, the government must, and I, I'm sure it understands that, um, uh, avoid at all costs doing what the previous government did, which was to interfere with the judiciary, to put pressure on judges and everything, which one could hear openly in those wiretap conversations. Uh, the evidence is, is so blatant of the uh, uh, interference, the pressure used by the previous government. So. This government understands that uh, it must not uh, interfere in any way, but at the same time it must promote, uh, as a matter of urgency, the judicial reforms to make sure, firstly, that the, this uh, situation of captured state, uh, which was uh, evidenced and which was clearly identified by the European Union, by all the other international organizations, as happening here, where all the institutions of the government were captured by the by the government uh, all the institutions of the state rather that were captured by the the government uh, and uh, that um, 
there must be a situation to avoid that happening in the future and secondly that the judicial processes must be seen to, to function properly. In other words that judges are there uh, to act as independent uh, representatives of the law uh, and should act uh, accordingly. And the um, the supervisory bodies, the judicial supervisory bodies that are appointed uh, by the uh, parliament government together, these must be uh, bodies that also function independently uh, to ensure that there is due process. One hopes that the judiciary will of itself reform uh, and um, but at the moment we see uh, a lot of delays uh, in the investigations. Uh, delays which of course uh, are to the benefit uh, of those who are being investigated. Uh, and so I think the gov there needs to be something done uh, with that and um, there are a lot of independent international uh, judicial authorities that could be used to, to help in the reform process. Uh, the government should not hesitate to call on these uh, international legal authorities so that uh, the human rights which were violated in the past are, are respected and that due process is seen to function for everybody.